Ever wondered how the foundation of our spine, the notochord, forms during embryonic development? The notochord is a crucial part of the axial skeleton, setting the groundwork for our body's structure. Ready to dive into the fascinating world of notochord formation? Here we go. The journey of notochord formation begins with prenotochordal cells. Imagine these cells as tiny explorers, invaginating in the primitive node and journeying forward in the midline until they reach their destination, the precordal plate. Then these prenotochordal cells intercalate in the hypoblast, creating a temporary two-layered midline in the embryo, known as the notochordal plate. It's a fascinating dance of cells, a vital first step in the formation of the notochord. From here, the formation process gets even more intricate. Let's see how. The notochordal plate is just the beginning. The real magic happens next. As the hypoblast steps aside, endoderm cells move into the spotlight, replacing it. The notochordal plate cells aren't idle spectators either. They proliferate, multiply, and then detach from the endoderm. Their next act, forming a solid cord of cells, the definitive notochord. This process is as dynamic as a ballet. The cranial end forms first, with caudal regions joining the dance gradually. The definitive notochord is now formed, but the process isn't over yet. The final steps in notochord formation involve the cloacal membrane and a diverticulum called the allantois. The cloacal membrane forms at the embryo's tail end, a unique structure of tightly bound ectoderm and endoderm cells with no intervening mesoderm. Simultaneously, a small offshoot, the allantois, appears from the yolk sac's posterior wall. In humans, while the allantois remains rudimentary, it could play a role in bladder development anomalies. With these final steps, the notochord, the precursor to our spine, is fully formed. So that's the fascinating journey of notochord formation. But let's quickly review the main points. It begins with prenotochordal cells advancing cranially, forming the notochordal plate. As these cells proliferate, they detach and form the definitive notochord. The cloacal membrane and allantois also play pivotal roles. Understanding the notochord formation gives us a glimpse into the intricate processes that shape us in our earliest stages of development.